If I can take anything out of this episode, Steven managed to freak out Onion. Hello everyone, welcome to the new Lars review. Even though it wasn't canon, I thought they broke Lars and Sadie's ship a long time ago. Huh, I guess it's back. Seeing Lars's parents for the first time is quite an interesting endeavor. They did a similar thing in Gravity Falls in which they showed off Robbie's parents who were like the complete opposite of them. And this was no different. I saw absolutely no resemblance to uh, his family whatsoever. <laughs> this episode also shows the uh, cool kids indifference towards Lars that are kind of Oh, you're here. Yay, kind of feel to them. And it's kind of justified speaking that Lars is only there to try to appeal to them because he thinks they're the cool kids and he wants to hang out with people who seem cool and he wants to be cool like them because of his social problems. But in all reality, they don't really find too much interest in him until he's Steven. <laughs> Side note, that shirt he wears definitely supposed to be resembling his star. I know Lars and Sadie both like each other. However, I don't really like the pairing because Lars needs to grow up as a person before he can get together with Sadie. He really needs that push to make him a good guy. His good guy quirk are layered underneath a lot of teenage edge, which is not exactly something that should be glazed over. As seen by the parents, they are almost terrified of Lars and are so happy when he finally turns a corner. But the thing is, is that that's what needs to happen. He needs to grow up. And when he grows up, that's how we're going to know he's become a better person. And maybe he won't grow up. This show has some of the most real characters ever. Aside from the fact that they can tolerate magic, it's kind of an amazing feat that they are so human and lifelike. And like Marty, Lars could just turn out as another jerk. He could be a Reynaldo and not be a likable character. It's bound to happen with a bunch of characters a bunch of real characters with real human emotions and that's an interesting thing in other kids cartoons if they want to make a side character likable they turn him another corner where he was bad before they make him good but maybe in this show they won't do that maybe he'll just be good to sadie because maybe that's all he needs and honestly if that's all he needs to be a good guy then I guess that's completely worth it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the new Lars review. I'm getting back into the swing of things. This is going to be really difficult because I have five new episodes to review. So, um, yeah, got to get a move on. Also, I must have heard that I am not pleased thing from someone. Eh, I'll figure it out eventually.